Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Uh, this week our theme is, sometimes fear is good. Sometimes fear is actually a gift. And what we're going to read in Proverbs say Proverbs 16, verse 6, actually brings this truth alive. Listen to these words from Scripture. Proverbs 16, verse 6. Through love and faithfulness, sin is atoned for. Through the fear of the Lord, evil is avoided. Through the fear of the Lord, evil is avoided. How does fear keep us from evil? How does fear keep us from going off the cliff? How does fear keep us from doing wrong things, stupid things? Well, if you think about it from a human standpoint, it actually makes a lot of sense. I remember raising three boys when our boys were getting to the age where they were going to all start driving. I wanted them to be safe on the road. So I decided I was going to put the fear of God in them. And here's how I did it. I told my first son, Zach, hey, Zach, when you get your license, your mom and I will cover your insurance for your car until you get your first ticket or have your first accident. If you get a ticket or accident and it's your fault, you'll cover half of the cost, which was a lot of money for a young kid. And then we said, if you get a second ticket or a second accident that's your fault, you'll have it all. And at that point, you'll probably lose your car and stop driving because uh, actually where we lived in Michigan is one of the most expensive insurance states, driving insurance states in the country. Right now, it's the most expensive in Michigan uh, because there's so many accidents because there's ice and snow and, and lots of people. And so when Josh got his license, the same talk, putting the fear of God in him. When Nate got his license, the same talk. So listen, we'll cover your insurance, but if you mess up, you pay half and then you pay it all. So for the next, we said, and we said this was through college. So there's six years with Zach, six with Josh, six with Nate. For 18 years of young men driving, 18 years, we had one ticket. And it was actually a little bit of a speed trap because it was a construction zone where the speed went down. And one of my sons kept going the same speed. He actually saw it, realized it was a construction zone. and He thought nobody's going to be there. He got a ticket. And I remember when he got that ticket, we had a shared account at that time. He was still young. I went to his bank and I took out all the money it was going to cost him that year. And I laid it out in hundred dollar bills across the, the dining room table. And I said, I said, son, see all this money. And I dramatically swooped it up. I said, this is going to pay for half your insurance and including the increase in insurance. And if you get another ticket or have an accident, you'll be covering it all. That was the only bleep we had on the one time, 18 years. How did that happen? The gift of fear. And God will say to us, fear me. But what does that mean? And I, I thought of a couple of things. What, what should we fear when we think about God? It's not trembling and saying that God hates me and wants to crush me. That's not it. I put fear in my kids because I love them and I want to keep them safe. But, but for God, how about fear of this? Fear of disappointing God. I don't want to disappoint the God who loves me. That's actually a good fear that can keep us from doing evil things. Fear of the consequences. Wait, wait, God lets me have consequences? Absolutely, he's a loving parent. And loving parents let their kids suffer consequences. Fear of consequences. Fear of discipline. God would discipline me? Absolutely. I've been meditating on a passage in, in Hebrews chapter 13 about how God disciplines those he loves. So fear can be healthy. Fear can save a life. Fear of disappointing God. Fear of the consequences. Fear of discipline. Why does God call us to fear him? Because he loves us. He wants to keep us safe on the road of this life. And so I want to encourage you to have a healthy fear of the Lord. To so love him, you don't want to let him down. He'll keep loving you, but you don't want to let down someone who loves you that much. Fear of the consequences. God loves you enough to let you suffer some consequences when you do dumb things, and the same for me. And fear of discipline. A loving parent disciplines. And sometimes when we mess up, God will discipline us. And discipline always hurts. It's always tough. We don't want that. So that's the encouragement. Walk in the fear of the Lord. Walk away from evil and into his ways. Will you pray with me? Loving God, you have given us guidelines and rules not to ruin our fun, but to keep us safe because you love us and ultimately to set us free. Help us walk in your ways in a holy awe, reverence, and fear of you, our Lord. We pray this in your glorious name. Amen. Blessings on you. Have a great week. And if you're part of Shoreline Church, we'll see you online or on campus, 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock services. Blessings on you.